Hi and welcome to another Zoom tutorial. Today we're looking at how to share YouTube or any kind of video with your audience while you're having a Zoom meeting or a lesson. There have been a couple of requests from teachers mainly about how do I share video clip uh, during the Zoom lesson and then have a little discussion. And so in this tutorial, you will learn how to share a video clip so your audience can view it and also hear it. It's quite easy to do, so let's jump right into it. First thing you need to do is run the meeting, have your participants join, and then while you're having a meeting, navigate to share. This is where you normally go to share your screen. The most important thing to click is to share your computer sound. If you don't do that, then your participants will not be able to hear your computer sound. After that, click on on the video clip that you would like to share. After that, click share. Participants are looking at YouTube and once I play it back, participants will be able to both view the clip and also hear the sound. One thing you might want to do before you do that with your real audience is to have someone join your practice Zoom and play around with system volume control, uh, try to turn it up, turn it down. And while you're doing that, get feedback from someone who is participating. Is it too loud? Is it too quiet? And this will give you a good approximation as to where the sound should be when you're actually doing it live. Some of the issues that you might experience is while you stop sharing, participants cannot hear you. What happens is when you click this little share computer sound, uh, Zoom is actually taking sound from your computer, not actually from the microphone. What you might want to do is first unclick this button. Uh, you can also click on the arrow and make sure that your microphone is, uh, well, in my case, is a Rode microphone. In your case, it could be built-in microphone, whatever microphone you use. So make sure that it is back and your Zoom is capturing your microphone and not the video. What helps is to have some kind of a low-key practice with someone as your audience, just to make sure that Zoom will bounce back and forth from the system sound or the sound of your computer to the microphone. As a teacher, one of the things you might want to do is play back the video in your class and then have students discuss this video clip. So make sure again that you check that you match the sound of the video clip to the sound of your microphone. So when you play it, play it back. And then when you stop it, your students can hear equally well both video and microphone so that the sound is equal on both your um, your system, your video and on your microphone. What I've noticed from my experience is that uh, what makes the, the biggest difference is turning the volume down on the YouTube and not on your system, not on your computer, but an actual video clip on the YouTube. Again, have someone join your Zoom meeting, play with it, practice it before you actually start sharing this with a real audience. And that's how you play back video uh, during Zoom meeting or a lesson. I hope this tutorial was helpful and I'll see you next time. Thank you.